We're back with your latest Rangers transfer news. It is tonight, 19th of January. We did the morning stuff. Can't well. Medical done. Deal done. I think that's going to be announced very soon. But we've got an update on a player I thought was never going to come to Rangers. I thought it was done. But as you can see, uh, we'll get to departures first. And it says Rangers are to allow Josh McPake and Kai Kennedy January transfer exits. Personally, I have no problem with this. It says here, well, Rangers are willing to offload them both this month. The Jairs youth pair look likely to head for the Ibrox exit door on a permanent move. I, I agree with it. Rangers are interested in doing business with clubs over both players. They state that the Tampa Bay Rowdies, whatever the hell that is, uh, are keen on a move to Kennedy. He did spend the season on loan at Falkirk so far in League One. He made 17 appearances for them, and they currently sit second behind rivals and Firmland in the race for promotion, while um, McPake is on loan at Queen's Park, who could be getting promoted. And again, I don't understand why they can't use Hamden. They're, they're getting a stadium built for them that's going to only hold, like, what is it? i seen, like, 1,700 or something. And, like, there's a real chance Queen's Park could be in the Premiership next season. Like, and I, I, and I get it, right? You could argue if they use Hamden, it's going to devalue the cup, right? And, like, oh, get into Hamden, get into the semi-final, get into the final. And I actually understand that argument. But at the same time, from a Queen's Park point of view, from a making money point of view, imagine when Rangers and Celtic come to town against Queen's Well, I say come to town, it's on fucking Glasgow, right? But <laughs> point aside, when Rangers and Celtic play Queen's Park at Hamden, and the, look how much money that's going to generate, you know, in the massive stadium, albeit Queen's Park would have about four fans to their name, right? But not just them, I mean, fucking, you know, Hearts, Hibs, Aberdeen, Dundee United, they're all going to have loads of fans at that game. Well, a decent amount, I mean, thousands, like, you know, I'm not saying they're going to fucking sell out Hamden every game, every game at all, 38 games, Livingston are going to somehow sell out Hamden, but... You know, I, I I just genuinely feel like that's stupid them doing that. But again, I, I'm not really too bothered that these two guys uh, go it. But realistically, why I'm making this vid tonight is because this deal has been given the green light and this deal is back on as Nicholas Raskin to Rangers transfer is on. As advanced discussions kick off over Ibrox moves, it appeared the Belgian favoured a move to France, but reports suggest Rangers are pressing ahead. And that is exactly what... I like to see. It says here, Raskin could yet join Rangers and reports in Belgium side. Fans discussions are underway over an Ibrox move. So, from looking like net transfers, it looks like we could get Cantwell and potentially Raskin in so straight, more or less straight away. And, you know, if Rangers are willing to get Whitaker done as well, I mean, would that be a good window bringing those three in? Two midfielders and, you know, and also, I mean, Whitaker as well. So, well, I, I think... Cant Cantwell's basically done. Raskin's looking most likely, and then Whitaker. I'm not really too bothered if we sign him or not, personally. But he has been a uh, linked with move to Rangers. He was bombed out of the side at Standard Ledge due to the whole contract negotiation breaking down. It was reported that Toulouse and Marseille wanted him, but uh, turns out Rangers are the team that want him, and he wants Rangers, brother. But of course, Todd Cantwell is, looks like he's definitely going to Rangers, and you know, let's get that done. And uh, I can't wait to see Todd Cantwell in action. I was critical. I was like, what would they sign them? But you know what? Let's get him in. And let's hope he hits the ground running. Let's hope he's bloody brilliant. Let's back the man. You know, get the shirt on and you get backed all the way until you start playing like fucking Scott Shite or James Sands. Even though Scott, right, he was good in that semi-cup, semi-final. semi, semi, -cup, semi -final. That's uh, for your play, League Cup semi-final. He was pretty good when he came on. And you know what? I'd actually go as far to say Scott Wright changed the game. And you know what? He scored, a, he scored a, a goal in the cup final too, like, so against Hart, so you can't really bury him too much, but aye, that'll do it. Raskin to Rangers, back on. Big discussions, big move. Will he join? Leave your thoughts down below, but until next time, peace.